Already cancelled. Already cancelled. Already cancelled. I feel like Kian is like the older brother and I feel like Yaz is the younger brother. For sure. Happy with that. I mean, I only know being the younger brother. Do you have only older brothers? Mm-hmm. I'm the youngest. I'm a baby. That makes so much sense. But I'm like the baby. Are you baby. the youngest brother? Or are you the nah, old? I'm middle. I'm the middle kid. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're the one that's forgotten about, eh? No, oh yeah. Now I'm actually starting to realise, yeah, I am the one that was forgotten about, but I always thought I was the golden child. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, we should have this chat. Golden about, child like, syndrome. Young child, middle child and... Older, well. You only have one sibling. Yeah, I was youngest. Though. That's so small for youngest, Indian family. The no. youngest, a hundred percent, is always treated um, the best. Ah no! You know what? I think the eldest. In in nah. all nah. I, I think the eldest. I, I think have the are we recording this? Yeah, this is all. Re- oh, good. Rolling right now. I was going to say. I think it also depends on whether the eldest is a boy or a girl. What do you mean? Mm. So I've seen. I've seen. Um, with my own family, my sister being the eldest um, yeah. sibling, she is the favorite, whether you like it or not. She'll all because she's like, the eldest, and she's a female. Every okay, and she's a female. Okay. If she was male, nah, definitely not the the favorite. I would be the favorite. I feel like okay, that's very interesting. I feel like the oldest sibling is the one that has to go through all the hardships in the family the oldest, because uh, they're literally the guinea pig of like what yeah, works and true. what doesn't work. Yes. So they have to go through, like they basically are the ones that open the the pathway for the the future kids to come through and do whatever the whatever Agreed. they want. Agreed. What it is, that. is that the oldest, the oldest is the uh, one that the parents grow with. The other kids are the ones that the parents raise. Oh, interesting. Mm, that's a good way to look at it. Mm. That's That's fascinating. But I feel like, but no, but I feel, well, yeah, I, I, I get that. But I also feel like the older one gets the most punished, right? Like No, because you said, not punished, but you, you have expect you have, uh, yeah, expectation high expectations. or a response, like they have a responsibility to set an example. Yeah, exactly. Because I feel like when parents first have kids, they want to do everything by the book. Like you, you have to make sure you do, get this degree and you have to make sure that you nah, blah, no. blah, 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 blah. And they're then the so younger kids, it. they're, they're so over, over it by, by the fourth. The, yeah. Yeah, she's got, a, she's got a point. But here's the difference between myself and, and for example, my brothers, right? My sister right. was always a golden child. She was very like, you know- Is she the only bo- girl? Only girl. She was always, yeah. you know, um, sticking to the rules, blah, mm. blah, blah. I don't think she ever did anything that she shouldn't have done. Um, but then my brothers came along, <laughs> right? And it was like, they would, they would do things against what my parents wished, right? but they'd hide it from them, right? So for example, my brothers would get earrings Okay. And then you'd see them throughout all of summer wearing a beanie covering their ears, <laughs> right? <laughs> Me on the other hand, dad, what? I'm getting earrings. No, you're not. Not asking for your permission. And then I'd leave the house. Oh, you could do that to your parents? Well, I did. They but weren't happy. Parents, they weren't happy with it. Aren't your parents like, are they like very cultural? Like yeah, very, very extremely. Reli- are they religious as well? Yeah, extremely. Yeah. And, and they were cool for you to just- No, they weren't cool. They weren't cool with it. The difference was I didn't care about, it's like, you know what? You already dealt with this with my brothers. I'm just the third, wow. like whatever. So for example, my, 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 my uh, brother that's on top of me. So not my oldest brother, yeah, middle brother. Um, he got a tattoo on his back, right? <laughs> a big tattoo on his back. Right. He hid it, hid it from my dad for 10 years. 10? How 10 old years. Old me, I got, my, I got my first tattoo and I went, yeah. dad. And he's like, what? And I went, and I showed him. Didn't you get reprimanded though? Like what, yes. was, what was the punishment? I just didn't care. Oh, what do you mean? As in, okay, like, did you it, get in trouble? Like, was there like, you got grounding or you got a- No, nah, s- there's no such thing as grounding in-, in Yeah, in, I was, well, I was trying to be- You get belted. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did you, you get belted? Get, yeah, that's what I wanted oh, to know. Oh, not for this stuff. No, no, no. Okay. I get belted for the, being a piece of shit kid. That's why I get belted. And you're um, the youngest. I'm the youngest. But here's, huh. the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, right? Up until my latest tattoos, which I got three months ago, yeah. which is like this one, this one, and this one, Yeah. right? Three months ago, I had 15 tattoos before this. My dad didn't speak to me for three months. Three months? Yes. yes. And he said specifically because you got the tattoos? So he looked at me and goes, are they new? I said, yeah, we bickered for a bit. And then he just, mm. Even though it has religious like quotes He doesn't and care, he doesn't care. It's, it's And yeah. family traditional quotes stuff yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah I got my mom's reaction when I, like I'm, I'm 30 and I got my tattoo maybe when I was 28 mm. and I was still scared to show my mom that I got a tattoo. And then I remember showing it to her. We have a reaction on FaceTime and it says, trust the process. And she was like, why would you get instructions on your hand? <laughs> like, 
like, she was so, like, what's wrong with you? But and her, then, does your brother have tattoos? No. He doesn't have tattoos. Okay, so she's so so hold on. So are, you brother, the, are you the golden? Are you, would you say that you're the golden child? I think my parents uh, just. I'm so lovable. So <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, to be honest, I think my parents just like I'm very. Both my brother and I are very close to my parents, right? Yeah. Like because we, we didn't really have much extended family. It was just the direct family. We grew up, you know. Uh, we moved to Canberra. We moved around and whatever, but we were both very close. But my brother, like he did everything by the book. Like he got the job. I mean, he was very naughty, by the way. Like he had, he hung out with a bit of hooligans and stuff growing up. I feel like- <laughs> Hooligans <laughs> in Canberra. <laughs> running but the I guess, streets. I guess like- Or the was, streets. Planting trees. Yeah. But he was just- Cleaning up the mess. <laughs> Doing a degree, <laughs> no, but he was he was good. Like he, he he got a degree. He's got his own like company now. He and then there was me who was a bit of like the black sheep of the family in the sense that that's racist. But yeah, oh okay. Are you darker than your brother? No, what oh. I mean, okay, <laughs> fine. Maybe what I mean by that is like I I was a bit like you know, the drama kid, I wanted to do the creative arts yeah, yeah, and yeah. I wanted to be an actress and I wanted to be a musician. And I remember deferring my degree to do secret editions and my parents were like, we can't control this kid. Yeah. But they now, like uh, with everything I'm doing now, my parents are like very proud and like, you know, good on you for doing that. But it took time for them to understand oh, yeah. like oh, yeah. all the crazy things I was doing. But in terms of favorite child, I think I'm the favorite child, but I'm sure if you ask my brother, he will think he's a favorite oh, child. Okay. So I think it's one of those things. That's Do good you parenting. think it's ever justifiable for a parent to treat each child differently? I think that's yes. natural. Yes. Right? So you treat the fact, like you treat the, the, no, you the, older, the child. older child differently to the other siblings, wouldn't you? Well, I'm pretty sure the other siblings are probably treating the parents differently, right? Mm. I think it's natural. They're all individuals at the end of the day. I don't think you should have a favorite kid. Is that a thing? Do you have a favorite kid, Ken? No. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't think you- <laughs> He has his sus on this, but it's there's a, no it's way a I have a favorite child. Dude, whether you like it or not, and I've asked this multiple times, every parent has a favorite child. No. They just will not admit it. No, I don't. I, I genuinely don't. I love them both for the same reason and different yeah, reasons. Yeah, I believe that. I, I believe that. There's always a favorite child. They both give me the best cuddles and they both hug my head. So I, don't I love having my head, hu head hugged. I don't think it's favorite. I think what you're trying to say is there's one child that might be just more obedient. And so you- No, not obedient. I think it's one, if anything, it's one child that you you connect with more in that present time. For example, yeah. Lila, she's a bit older. I can hold conversations easy. We, She's you know close to fully conversating with you. So it's different. Yeah. I mean, as you get older, I haven't experienced it as a, you know, a, a, both of them can talk and all that stuff. Yeah. But you can pick up which which child would talk more, which child would, would give more, uh, which child's more nurturing, which, you know, which, which child you connect more with. But that doesn't define it as favourite. That just defines it as a different relationship. Yeah. But you love them equally and in different ways at the same time. Do you guys want a quick study? Mm. <laughs> A this, quick study that was done? Yeah. Guy, okay, uh, regardless of the reason, some research shows that many parents almost certainly do have a favourite child. I, can't, I couldn't pick. I couldn't. I think maybe, <laughs> you know what? Maybe, it's, be maybe, it's too, maybe it's too early on. Maybe. Uh, whether they admit it or not, uh, this study has shown that up to 74% of mothers and 70% of fathers uh, have shown to exhibit uh, preferred treatment towards one child. Wow. That's awful. That's awful. I, found, I think that that would be, I think the gener like our generation down would have a very different way of parenting. I think it's very similar to me and my cats, right? One of them's really sweet to me, the other one's a cunt. So I'm a bit more cunty to the one that- But you treat it as, as it treats you? I still feed it and shit. <laughs> yeah, so you still have got to do everything equally, but there's some certain things that you would do differently with one cat to the other. So like I'd walk in and I'd be like, I'd be like, oh, hello, Bedwani. And I'd like give him a nice little pat and scratch under the thing. You wouldn't say hi, you'd just say, Bubbles. And then I look at Bubbles and I go, hello, you. <laughs> and then he was looking at me, I'll give him a nice little pat and a scratch. Yeah. But he's he's growing, he's going to- uh, He's to, becoming more affectionate. He's becoming more affectionate. So he's learning. Do, in your family, <laughs> who, do you think, cats? who do you think is your favourite child in your family? Like out of your my siblings? My parents, my sister. Oh, so yeah, you did say that actually. Yeah, but then again, my sister also didn't put my parents through fucking hell. All the boys did. Would you say out of the boys, how many are there? Three? Three. You're included in one? You're, you're included as one of as the boys? As one of the boys? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'm, so I'm sure I, let me just check. 
<laughs> just want to double check. Yeah, yeah, I'm included as one of the boys. Yeah, but you know, you could say there's three boys. Oh yeah, and me as well. So there's four, but there's three all together. Yeah, three all together. Okay, we just wanted to get the the numbers correct. Uh, out of the three, would you say you're the top favorite or like? Nah, we're all as um, equally fucked as each other. One hundred percent. Yeah, it's kind of like that with us boys. Yeah, my sister, my sister didn't put my parents through. Um, hardship but i feel like the boys did were very rebellious see i'm still so shocked though that like you had the the balls to basically go get like tattoos and stuff i've and not- just i've just never cared yeah That's because it's it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, like you people fear their parents and then people go uh, what are they gonna do i still remember getting like a bed, belly button piercing and i did it behind my like parents back and i and i think subconsciously i got really like in my head about it and i have, do you have a belly piercing I used to like oh. years ago. No, th- there was actually Nishi. it was really unfortunate though wow. because by the third day, wow. like I got it for three, I had it for three days, um, <laughs> and on the third day, I was playing. <laughs> I don't know if I want to share this story. Well, but you have to now. I was playing with the with the belly with the actual ring ring. Yeah, and I was in the gym toilet, and I was playing with the ring. Like I was just looking at it. it right, fell in the toilet. It fell in the toilet. It was on a Sunday and everything was I think closed. It was Canberra. What so, a shitty situation. And then yeah, but I think like. Honestly, did you go? That's a sign I shouldn't have it. Yeah, basically, yeah. because on the second day, my mom found out anyway. So I, I hid it for her for a day. Second day, I was having a conversation with my mom, and I don't know for whatever reason, I was like, la, 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 and like she saw my belly button piercing. Yeah, I don't know how that even happened, but she did. And then she was like, <gasps> Do you know? Oh. oh, and she was very upset. Do you know what was the worst thing I think that I had done for, at a young age? And my dad was just like, and my mom both, they were like, what the fuck is wrong with this kid? It what? wasn't even that bad, but in their eyes, it's like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. I had an eyebrow piercing. Yeah, I had one too. Yeah. <laughs> Which side? What are you laughing Which at? Which side, I'm left sorry. or right? Left. Yeah, left. Left, but mine was different. Mine didn't, mine wasn't the traditional through here. Yeah. 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 Mine was sideways. <laughs> so, so through here. Why did you get it sideways? You wanted to be different. I just wanted to be different. It looked really good. <laughs> did I'll it? I'll show you a photo. Yeah, it looked fucking great. Why um, did you take it off? I don't know, I think I just, over, like it just became just like, who it. the fuck has eyebrow rings anymore? Yeah, I don't see that I many. I haven't seen an eyebrow ring in ages. Yeah, they're not really a thing anymore. I might get it, I might get it again. So you can be different again? Yeah, <laughs> trendsetter. Um, but yeah, my parents were like, this kid has lost his fucking mind. Like yeah. it's, it's, it's the equivalent of like me getting a tattoo on my face right now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah, know what I mean? You can take it out and it That's goes. That's true. Yeah. The I worst s- thing I did is, was year seven, <clears throat> we organized, someone's older brother to buy alcohol for us. Yeah. Oh. We went to our friends, I went to our friend's house. How this old were you? Year seven. Gee, oh, that's what the young? fuck, 12 years old? Yeah, what 13. The hell? Yeah. That is young. That is young. And then we we all started drinking at this party. This was the end of year seven. So it was on holidays. It was like a la- like last day or the day after our last day of school. Mm. Yeah. And it was all the boys and we, we always, we, and we got from blue vodka cruises. So we're all drinking, had a barbecue, all drinking at my mate's house. And his yeah. mum was a teacher. And you know, teachers have that instinct that, these boys are up to trouble. Yeah. So as we were all getting smashed, we were downstairs and his mum walks downstairs and I'm halfway through chugging <laughs> chugging a vodka cruiser. And I and I look to her and she goes, What's that? And I'm like, It's a V. I Aww. said, It's a V. And she goes, No, that's not a V. What colour was it? Blue. Right? So it's a blue bottle. Clearly said vodka Chris. So she came <laughs> over and she grabbed it, and all the, and then and then all the boys started packing all the be all the bottles. Sorry, in my bag, and I'm like, oh, what the hell? Shit, what are you doing? Anyhow, she then contacted all the parents. Oh, what a snitch! And then said, this is what was happening. What a snitch! And then we came up with a line. Said we found the case in the bush. We went for a bush walk earlier that day. We thought we'd bring it home and drink it. And then that was like the worst thing I did at that age that oh. my parents know about. And uh, I uh, got a book for Christmas. I wish I was, <laughs> I wish I was. I got a book for Christmas and it wasn't even a good book. It was a shit book. Do you remember what book it was? Oh, it was like some, some fantasy story. I used to love getting books for Christmas. That's weird. But you know, like in that, in that situation, Keen, that you're in where the, the mum full snitched and shit, right? Mm. Do you think if you were a bit smarter as a kid <laughs> and you knew that you could have leverage, right? I'm just going to sound so fucked up, right? Mm. But like, imagine she's like, oh, did she tell you? Like, I'm going to go tell your parents, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all of us. She there says, I'm calling your parents. There was always one mum that did that. Imagine you just walked up to her and you went, yeah? Well, I'll tell my parents you touched me inappropriately. <laughs> <laughs> like imagine you had 
No, seriously. Imagine you had Why that. Why does your brain go there? Because you know what I realized growing up? You're I actually had twisted. so much fucking power as a kid yeah, yeah, and you, I never used it. You, like you even shouldn't. at school. <laughs> even at school. Imagine my principal, which is pretty fucked up because one of the principals at my school actually got done for molesting children. <gasps> but fuck. He wasn't my principal. It was like when we left and graduated, yeah. it was the same school. Is he in jail now? Yeah, he's fucking locked Good. up for life. Piece of shit. Maybe not for life. I don't know how this judicial yeah, yeah. system is. But whatever. Um, yeah, like imagine just being at school and the teacher's like about to fucking suspend you and like, I'm calling your parents, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, that's fine. You touched me in the bathrooms the other day. And he'd be like, what? And you'd be like, yeah. Yeah, but that's so bad. I know it's ruin bad. someone's life. A hundred percent. But like you had a lot of power as a child. Yeah, you yeah. do. Don't ever do that. Do you do think that. she would have snitched on you guys if you said that to her? Probably not. But then, uh, yeah, but there was a lot this of. This is what I there. think of Russell Peters. I'd never somebody's gonna get a hurt. <laughs> somebody's <him> gonna <laughs> get a hurt. Yeah. Don't, don't, I'm don't gonna call abuse. child services on you. Don't abuse that. Power, Do it. Yeah. Don't abuse that. I used power. to have a nose ring too, by the way. God, I was cute. Like my nose ring. Who are you? Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Hold on. This is emo Yaz. That was a photo. Oh, you still have here. that tattoo. Fake? Yeah, tattoos usually don't leave your body. No, that's I, I didn't even. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's like, oh, you still have that tattoo. Wow, it hasn't it hasn't rubbed yeah, off. What I meant to say, it's not to say things. That, uh, what I was meant to say is you had it that age. Like it's not a new tattoo. Like you how do you even for, know what age that you is? Look you look to be on a seventeen in that photo. Really? Yeah, guys, that was only like five years ago, six years ago. Really? Yeah, twenty seventeen. That was posted. Um, but yeah, I had a nose ring. I'm surprised for an Indian issue, you ain't got no nose ring. No, okay, so this is what happened. I wanted a nose ring really badly. But, um, but a lot of Indians do have the nose ring. Is that what you just said? Yeah, I said I'm yeah. surprised you don't have one. What, yeah, no, I, I really wanted one. But then one day- <laughs> We are sorry, we don't away. have jewelry big enough. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, but you know what? On a similar vein, people said, I don't know if it'll be suit you. And then I got a pimple, like literally where a nose ring would be one day. And someone said to me, that's how it looked like. <laughs> That's how you look like with a nose ring. And if you got a, it looked bad. If you got a pimple on your nose, oh, I shouldn't say it's so slack. No, don't say it then. Don't say it then. Just fight every urge yeah, right now to not say it. Just so you know, oh, okay. Yaz has a, a bigger nose than you. I know. So. He, if Avnisha had like a pimple there, she looks like a fucking witch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, fucking wizard of Oz. You can talk. Fucking wizard of just. You can talk. Well, if I'm a witch, then you're like my sidekick, all right? Because you have a witchy nose too. I'm going to get a nose piercing just because of that. <laughs> I'm just going to sit over I'm here. I'm just going to sit over here in perfect nose land. And I'm just going to relax. Must be nice. No, nah, I'll be nice. Yaz. I'll get a sideway freaking piercing on like the bridge of my nose. You look a bull. To be different. Yeah. Sorry, ma'am. We don't have jewelry big enough. <laughs> oh, we do, but it's a big Beyonce hoop. <laughs> we have a hula hoop. <laughs> 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 Oh God. Make sure you anyway, subscribe. Never, yeah. More of this stuff always every day. Yeah. Already cancelled. If you like the podcast, prove it. Like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave us a cheeky review.